Hello, I'm Ethan Burks. IU Health is requiring its employees to get vaccinated against COVID-19 by September if they want to keep their jobs. But some workers aren't happy about that. Over the weekend, several hundred people attended a rally outside an IU Health building in Indianapolis. The crowd included a mixture of healthcare providers and IU Health support staff. What they had in common was opposition to the institution's plans to require vaccines by September 1st. IU health officials although say vaccinating their employees is a safe and effective way to protect patients and reduce the spread of the virus. All employees have the option for an exemption under strict medical or religious circumstances. Indiana will spend about a half a billion dollars over the next few years on road projects in southern Indiana. Improvements around the Huntingtonburg and Jasper areas along US 231 will be part of the project as well as a new roadway to connect State Road 101 near Milan down to the Ohio River. The $500 million to fund these various projects comes from money appropriated by the General Assembly in this year's state budget. Increasing recycling in Indiana could help manufacturing businesses expand and create more jobs statewide. In 2019, only 19% of the waste generated in Indiana was recycled. That means instead of sourcing recyclable materials locally, Many manufacturers were forced to get them from faraway states and even Canada. Environmental experts believe if Indiana can increase that rate to 50% by 2030, could create more Hoosier jobs and boost the state's economy. And taking a look at tonight's weather forecast, it's a low of 58 degrees over clear skies, sunny in 82 tomorrow, sunny in 80 Wednesday, and more sun Thursday and heading into the weekend. For more news, check out our content online. Good night.